In this video, we're going to focus on how we can do a value percentage, which we calculate relative to another data set here, where we could do a sum value. We will be doing a sum value of the tooltips, where we get the total amount of the values of the array showing in the tooltip. And of course, we will deduct it from each other. So you can do certain comparison of certain values. So let's start to look how we can use that in the tooltips. So let's start to look how we can sum the data set array in a tooltip in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to go here to Chart.js3.com getting started to get the boiler template. So once you're on here, just copy this. And by the way, this link you can find as well in the description box. So once you copy this all, and if you want to understand what this all means, make sure you watch this video here. I'm going to paste it in there, cut this out. And then we're going to put that in here, save, refresh, there we are. So what I will do is I will maximize the size, 80%, and I will confirm, uh, comfort, uh, convert this into a uh, line chart, save, refresh, there we are. So then what I will do is just for, the, for this here, because we will have multiples, so I will just add up here another data set. So comma, over copy that, comma, paste. And we say here, this will be um, blue or total sales. Another one will be the rejects or something like that. The red, maybe the rejects. And to make sure that we have some differences, uh, this should be maybe here two, or let's make this three, that's better. Three, 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 and here number three. And this one here, I'll just give this, uh, I guess, all nine, or at least the big ones or the small ones should be converted into nine. So what I will do here right now is just remove the other colors and then I will remove here the colors, only the blue one I will maintain, it, which is the second line. So if I save this now, save, refresh, you can see here this works perfectly. What we could do is remove the border width. So we have a nice thick line, save, refresh. All right, so now we've got this, and what we basically want to do is we want to make sure that we can sum certain values all together. Any other one here, we could maybe be uh, deducted from one from each other. So what we're going to do here, after the skills come, I'm going to say plugins, and then what we want to do here is we want to say the tooltip, because basically I want to play around within the tooltip, and within the tooltip, we're going to use a callback built-in functionality, which is called callbacks. So from here on, we want to pinpoint what exactly, or basically the value in the label here, where you can see the blue sales number six, we want to convert that into whatever we desire. So in this case, what I'm going to do here is, we're going to say here the label, that's the part that we want to pinpoint on, and then I'm going to say here to tip item, then we put in here an arrow, uh, or function arrow function expression, because we're using a callback functionality here, and then what I want to do is just say console log and just grab the tooltip item for now. Save this, refresh, open up developer tab. Look at this here. You can see here the return will not show anything or the tooltip will not show anything because we didn't return anything. But what is important for us is the information here. Let me just move this over a little bit more. There we are. And you can see all this information here. We have the data set index or sorry, the data, the data index, which is the data point. Now we have the data set index. So this is very important. However, we have here the chart object and this chart object allows us to go into the data object and the data object, all of this here, you might recognize it. It's just, we go up here, that's this object basically. So what I'm going to do now is, because what I want to do is two things. When I hover, for example, on this item here, I need to know which data set we're hovering on if we want to sum all of these values into here. So let's start to work on that first. So what we're going to do here, first of all, uh, what is the data uh, set? So if I hover over this, click on that, you'll see here data index, which is the data point, and the data set index. So I'm going to grab this data set index. I'm going to put it in here. Save, refresh, you will see here now we get data set index number one. All right, so this is important. So now what we could do is the following. We say here console log and let's show up now the chart item. If I save this, refresh, then I'm going to hover again. 
we can see here now where are we going into the data object here the data so basically here we say dot data which is basically saying we're going from here or if you're wondering from this chart we're just basically going into the chart object which is referenced as the chart name here without the capitalized c and then here the data from chart here we jump immediately into the data constant here so once we have this you can see here we can go down nicely so let's refresh this over, over again we get all of this information we get here the data set and you can see here the blue uh, sales and the red rejects so what i'm going to do here now is dot i'm going to say your data sets but data sets here has an index and of course we could say here index zero or one or we just make it dynamic by grabbing this here put that in there save that refresh and now if i hover over it we get the blue sales here we get the red rejects as you can see so what we could do now is of course we can just say here if we return this uh but hold on let me make sure that this is of course connected all right that's correct we have to be within this parentheses here if i say return i just return this index here and then more specifically from the index here we go to labels we should be able to see here immediately the item. So we say dot labels save. And then we're able to see here. All right, the return doesn't work here nicely. So uh, let me double check. Most likely, of course, the return doesn't work because this is an object. Or sorry, no, I'm talking wrong. I need to focus on this one here, the label. So that's the label that we need to solve. Or at least that is label, not labels. Let's try this again. Save, refresh. So now we get here blue sales, red rejects. Exactly the same here. But now I want the values. So how do we get the values? Well, we just get here the data. And if I would just say here now, just data, and then we have the data point. So the data point was the data index. Save. You will see here now if I go in here, we just get number nine, which is correct. This should be number six, which is correct, as you can see. So you just get the value itself. So now I want to sum this value. To sum this value, it would mean that we need to get all these items in here. And then we're going to use what we call the, uh, what is that a special term? The uh, reduce array functionality. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to create or get the array, which is basically this part here. Copy this. Let's say your constant, and then I'll we'll call this array number one equals this. And this here, the data set index should be, of course, zero. Or maybe array zero, which is the data set number zero, the first data set. So if you have another one, which would have here array one, you get here one as well, because this is will be basically the blue line, and this is the red rejects. What we want to do now is, of course, we want to reduce this item. To reduce that, we can do a console log here, and I'm going to show you. Console log, well, basically, we have this here. Let me just comment that out. We don't need that one. And what I'm going to do here is basically this. I'm going to say here, I want this array number zero or index zero. And then I'm going to say here uh, dot, and then we're going to do here. Oh, sorry, that should, yeah, well, we can do like that, dot, reduce, because we want, to, we want to use the reduce array. Then here, double parentheses, and we say here, a, b, and then what we want to do here is a function error expression, and then we're going to a plus b, and we start at a default set value of zero, or which is the index value of zero. So that's the index uh, array number zero. Save that. If I refresh now, we should get here a value, which is 21. Is that correct? Well, you might say, why is it showing 21? Because I realize we are focused on a red line and it has seven times three equals 21. So that is correct because we have here array zero. So if I do here array one, same here. If I hover over it, now it doesn't matter. It will be 63 here. All right, so this is confirmed and this works all very well. So what we could do now is basically two things. We could just uh, grab this and let's, let me just change this we say here constant sum one equals that and then what we can do here sum number zero or for array zero and this will be zero 
So what we will do now is I guess sum number one would be a higher value, which is the blue line. Uh, so what we will do is we can say rejects divide by the total sales, save, refresh, and if we do that, we get these values here. All right, interesting. Is if this is true, what it could be because it's 21 divided by 63, which is basically one third of it. So if we say multiply by 100, and then we're going to say here uh, plus, basically concatenation, plus string of a percentage. There we are. All right, so we have this here, but of course, what if you only want to have one item here comparing with these others? Well, of course, in that case, all we need to do is, basically we have here this, let's comment this out. We don't need this anymore. And what I'm going to do here is just say here, index, what exactly? Remember the data index here, the tooltip item data index. Let's grab that, put that in there. Do this, put that in there. And what we're going to do now is we have the array. Well, in this case, the array is not really an array. It's just an exact array value. So we're going to say exactly the same. Let's do this, divide by array number one percentage. And then normally, oh, multiply by 100. Save, refresh. Uh, all right, I forgot the plus sign here. Make sure we have plus sign because it's a concatenation. So now we have this 50%, which should be correct because this is three and this is six. This should be different and of course you could reduce the amount of uh, decimals as well I guess here it's uh, to fix uh, let me double check what would be the value on this uh, I guess that would be this value dot to fix let me say equals two digits or let's say one digit save that refresh and then we should have here one digit or one decimal at the back all right so that's basically how we can do this nicely here we can get individual value and we can have a total sum value as well so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to go even deeper into the tooltip because there's basically a lot more that we could do with the tooltip i'm going to recommend you this specific video here on how to add more information in the tooltip in charges and you can see we can massively enhance and add up new items in here